All right, today I'm cheating on my lightning and I am helping a friend set up their charger for their Rivian. So we're gonna put the charger right here on the wall. The electrical panel is right here on the other side. And we do have to move uh, some breakers around because we do have two open spaces here and here. However, obviously I need them next to each other. So we're gonna move one of these over here and move shift these all down. That's the plan. So after getting the uh, panel off of here, I realized that, so I've already punched this out for my wires to go up through some one inch conduit and out the other side, but that these are the two open spaces, but that this double tandem, these two tandems here, they're not even connected to anything. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, eliminate those. All right, so in the little hardware kit were the mounting screws, and there's this little teeny, teeny little uh, Torx bit for taking the cover off of the front of this. So I popped those out, take the cover off, and then obviously this is where our electrical is going to go. We're doing the 60 amps, so we've got the three dip switches in the uh, on position, and we're going to go get the mount on the wall after I run my conduit to see exactly where it's gonna go. So I got the wires coming through. This is all six aug wire coming through. You got two leads in your ground and everything here is all put back together. So put the breaker down here at the bottom and ran everything else up uh, through the top. All right, so the conduit is all ran. Um, one inch conduit. I got my number six wires coming through it. I typically like to oversize my wires, but because this is such a short run, it's only three feet to the actual breaker, I'm not worried about it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take our box here. We've uh, punched out the hole at the bottom and we're gonna feed our wires right up through there. This just slides right onto that cleat on the mount. So it's already nice and secure, just like that. And we've got our little, uh, conduit nut that's going to go inside of here hold that all in position i will uh get that all tightened up get the wires in position and then we'll go from there we got all the wires connected and we're just going to get our little screws on here in the back to hold the box to the actual mount there's just two little screws there at the bottom One lower there, and one on the left here. So now the charger itself is secured to the mount, mount is secured to the wall. Conduit will be secured to the wall when I'm done, but not yet. Um, on the inside of the cover, it actually tells you. So we do, we're going for the 48 amps, it's default. Um, so it's a 60 amp breaker, it's number six wire. All three dip switches need to go in the up position. So that's already uh, done there. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this wire and reconnect it to the face. And everything else is good to go. So we drop this, put it on, drop it into position. And then it has the two little screws that are gonna mount in the bottom to hold that into position. We got everything connected and secured and we are ready to flip on the breaker and find out if uh, it's gonna work or not. She's not home right now to be able to connect up with the uh, Wi-Fi and the app, but that didn't immediately trip, so that's good news. And our lights are on, it's working. So we will wait till we connect to the app before we connect to the car. All right, so we are now green and ready to go. She loaded up the Rivian app and uh, found it. The only trick we found is that we had to, I guess it just turned off, is that we had to reset the breaker so that this went into uh, discovery mode for the app. So we are good to go. And uh, this beautiful Rivian can be charged now.